I was the one that brought creatine monohydrate to the marketplace over 30 years ago. From day one, you know, the first complaint that everybody had was water retention, bloating, uh, stomach discomforts, dehydration. Women did not like to take it because it bloated their ankles, bloated their faces. Guys, you know, they, for the most part, didn't really care. You know, I was doing some research to look at the stability. Found out that creatine was not stable. Um, nothing new ever since it was discovered how to synthesize back in the mid 1800s, that was what they reported. So I found out as soon as it hits solution, it instantaneously starts to convert to creatinine. Creatinine is a bio waste. That's what causes all those side effects. Um, research went on, I figured out how to stabilize that, which led to the patents, which led to creatinine. So. Just kind of a review, creatine monohydrate is the only form that your body can actually uptake. All the other ones, don't waste your money because it's not pure creatine monohydrate. Problem is the flaws. Instantaneously converts to creatinine, the lower the pH, the quicker the conversion. And obviously there's lots of variances between heat and, you know, yada, yada, yada. But that's besides the point. So does creatine monohydrate work? Yeah, absolutely. I've never said it didn't work. Um, I just said there's a flaw. So if you like to use uh, an iPhone 1, they still work. But if you want to use the newest, greatest, I don't know what it's on now, iPhone 15, it, they just continue to fix all the flaws in technology. And that's what Kraftland did, is it fixed the flaws. So when it hits solution, it doesn't convert to creatinine. So what does that mean? That means you're not going to have all those nasty side effects.